All right. So today we are going to see the parts of the body. Yes, you know body. I'm going to use here then. All right. So remember body, cuerpo. Yes, las partes del cuerpo. Parts of the body. So this class is going to be, or is going to work on vocabulary. La clase del día de hoy eh, trabajará mucho vocabulario, right? So we are going to begin with the parts of the body. First, we have the head, yes, head, cabeza, right? We continue here, hair, hair. Cabello. Then we have the face. Yes. Face. Cara. We have the forehead. Forehead. That is frente. We have the cheeks. Cheeks. Cachetes, right? We continue with the chin. That is um, Kumbamba, right? Menton. Menton. Wait a second. All right. We continue here with the eye. I. The pronunciation of this word is I, right? I. We continue. Here we have the A bro, right? La ceja. La ceja. I. We continue here. Eyelid. Eyelid. El párpado. Eyelid. We have here eyelash. Eyelash. That is pestañas, right? Here we have the nose. Nose. We have the mouth. Mouth. Remember the pronunciation, mouth, yes. Right. We continue. Lips, lips. How do you say lips in Spanish? Labios. Labios, correct. We continue. Tongue, the tongue, la lengua, tongue. Eh, recuerden que cuando nos vamos a referir eh, a un idioma, se utiliza la palabra language. Bueno, voy a coger por acá en un ladito, por acá abajito, junto con el color blanquito. Language para una lengua que se refiere a idioma. Language. Language. Tongue que es la parte del cuerpo. Right. We continue. Going to use the black color. Here we have the teeth. Teeth. Recordemos, un solo diente se dice tooth. Tooth. Ya, dientes en general, dientes en plural, tit, tit. We continue. Look, tut, un solo diente, tut. Here we have the ear, ear, la oreja, ear. Neck, cuello, neck. Neck. 
we have the shoulder 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 hombro shoulder we continue with the arm arm brazo okay arm brazo then we have the wrist wrist quiere decir muñeca la muñeca que es la parte del cuerpo porque si nos vamos a referir a una muñeca de juguete decimos doll entrarla por acá doll doll muñeca de juguete wrist muñeca ya de la parte del cuerpo y continuo elbow how do you say elbow in Spanish codo yes el codo we continue hand hand la mano hand fist Fist, puño. Yes, fist. Finger, 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 dedo. Pero dedos de las manos, porque ya vamos a ver que los dedos de los pies tienen otro nombre. Ok, finger. Thumb, thumb. How do you say thumb? In Spanish, el pulgar, yes. Pulgar. Yes. We will continue. Nail, nail. Is this nail? That is uña, yes. La uña, nail. We have the chest, chest, pecho. Chest. And then we have the belly. Yes, belly with double L. So belly, vientre o arriba. Yes. Es una manera como un poco informal de llamar esta parte del cuerpo. We continue. Navel. Navel, navel, ombligo, right? navel. And then we have the back, back, espalda, back, espalda. Yes. Hay muchas maneras de decir morral que trae la palabra back. Entonces nos podemos eh, guiar por esa palabra, back. Hay muchas, pero no, no en todos los casos pues va, va a ser la palabra morrar o maletín. Pero sí hay muchas que traen eso. Teacher, uh, excuse me, uh, answer the question. How, how, how do you say in English uh, cintura? Ya vamos para ahí. <laughs> Wait a second. Ah, okay. ok. All right. Well, <clears throat> here we have the bottom, yes, or bottom, bottom or bottom, as you want to pronounce it. Yes, it's como la cola, bottom. Then we have the hips, hips. So, cadera, yes, hips. Then we have the waist, waist, <clears throat> cintura, waist, cintura. Here we have the leg, leg, pierna, leg. Recuerden que esta palabra también nos puede referir, nos puede <clears throat> hacer referencia a las mesas, a las patas de la mesa. Sí, ya depende del contexto. En este caso, hace referencias a las piernas de las personas. Leg. Leg. Then we have the knee. The pronunciation of this one is knee. The knee. Okay, the knee. We continue. 
Here we have the foot. Foot, un solo pie. Un solo pie. Foot. Foot. Yes. And, pies en plural, feet. Feet. Foot, uno solo. Feet, plural. Feet. Pies. Ankle. Ankle, tobillo. Ankle. And look, we have here the twos. Twos. Este ya hace referencia a los dedos de los pies, ¿sí? Porque dedos de las manos decimos finger. Finger, dedos de las manos. Twos, dedos de los pies. Yes. En inglés se tiene esta diferencia. Twos. All right. We have this first exercise over here. So, look, I'm going to read the chart. Look at the picture of the boy below and use the word bank at the bottom of the page to help you label the different parts of the body. So, look at the picture of the boy below. Hi. Of the boy below, del niño abajo, below. And use the word bank. The word bank is this one. Look at this. Here we have the word bank. Yes. Hair, eye, leg, hand, arm, nose, mouth, shoulder, ear, knee, elbow, foot. So, I'm going to put this, the image is kind of smaller. Más pequeño para que se pueda. Ok, so, I'm going to signal, um, you know, the space, and you are going to tell me what is the correct part of the body, ok? For this exercise, I need you to uh, answer on the chat, please. Eh, porque hay algunas personas que de pronto todavía están pensando la respuesta, y si alguien la dice, pues no, no vamos a hacer el esfuerzo de, de buscarla, ok? So, on the chat, please, you are going to answer. So, number one, what is this? What is this part of the body? Ear, yes, I'm going to answer for here, ear. Number two, what is this part of the body? The eye. eye, this one, what is this part of the body? Very good, Hayden, Marbelli, mouth. Remember the pronunciation of this one, mouth, mouth. Okay, we continue with this one. Very good, Marbelli. Ah, oh, wait. Helen and Sapka, yes. It is very specific. So here we say elbow. Right. Elbow. Yes. All. We continue here. Well, I'm going to signal the ones that we have already used. This one, this one. And elbow. Map. So, what is this part of the body? Hands. All right, so this is the hand. Right. hand. I'm going to erase this. What is this? Hand. Very good. This one, what is this part of the body? Very good, Helen. Very good, Safka, Marbelli. Knee. Remember the pronunciation. Knee. Knee. All right. We're going to signal knee and what is the hand? Ah, it's already signal. This one. What is this part of the body?
Well, we have the hair. Hair. This one, what is this part of the body? The nose. Nose. This one, what is this part of the body? Shoulder. Shoulder. That's a lumbar shoulder. And this one over here. There is the arm. Yes. Arm. Ear. What is that? What is this part of the body? Very good, Marbelli, Sebastian, Aileen. Leg. Leg. And finally, we have the foot. How do you say foot in plural? How do you say foot in plural? Feet. Very good. Feet. Remember, los dos pies. Feet. Un solo pie, foot. All right, students. Questions or doubts? No questions? We are going to continue with more exercises. Right? So I'm going to raise this. And we'll continue. So look, my body, hair, mouth, nose, shoulder, hand, finger, feet, arm, leg, knee, eye, eh, ankle, back, wrist, elbow, stomach, chest, ear, neck, head. We are going to play this game. It's very easy. We have here this arrow. Tenemos esta flecha. Flecha en inglés se dice arrow. We have this arrow, yes? And we have on the left these options. These options, okay? So you are going to tell me what is the correct option. We have eye, ear, head, hair, mouth, neck. So remember that we have this indefinite article. Indefinite article. Yes, in this case is an. In este caso an, que significa un o una. Pero si tenemos la n es porque la palabra que sigue empieza con vocal, con vowel. Entonces acá también está una pista en este artículo indefinido de un una. Si estuviera la A solita, si estuviera la A solita, es porque sigue una palabra con consonante o sonido de consonante, ¿sí? Sonido de consonante. All right. So, number one. What part of the body is it? What part of the body is it? And, very good, the correct answer is... It's an ear. It's an ear. So, it's an ear. We have ear that begins with vowel. That is why we use an. Yes, it's an ear. Very good, we continue. What part of the body is it? What part of the body is it? Very good, Marbelli. Very good, Isidora. It's an elbow. It's an elbow. So here we answer elbow. Look, we use an because we have a vowel here. It's an elbow. Very good. We continue. What part of the body is it? Pay attention. We have the word a. Very good, Daniela. Very good, Sebastián, Isidora. It's a leg. So here we have the word leg because we have this indefinite article. This begins with consonant. So we use a. We continue. 
What part of the body is it? What part of the body is it? Very good. It's a mouth. Mouth. It's a mouth. It's a mouth. We continue. Here, what part of the body is it? What part of the body is it? It's, we have here, hair. So we can say it's the hair, or it's the hair. Es el cabello, it's the hair. Yes? Acá no podemos decir es un cabello porque nos quedaría un poco inconveniente la, la frase. Cabello implica algo plural. Yes. We continue. What part of the body is it? What part of the body is it? Look. The arrow is here. Yes. Very good. It's a foot. It's a foot. We continue. What part of the body is it? What part of the body is it? Very good, Paula, Sebastian. It's a finger. It's a finger. Finger. Yes, remember, los dedos de la mano, finger. Los dedos del pie, tools. Two or twos. What part of the body is it? What part of the body is it? Very good. It's a neck. It's a neck. Es un cuello. It's a neck. We continue. What part of the body is it? What part of the body is it? Very good. It's a shoulder. It's a shoulder. Shoulder. This one, shoulder. We continue. What part of the body is it? Ankle, very good. It's an ankle. So over here, ankle. We continue. What part of the body is it? What part of the body is it? Very good, Sebastian, Diana, Aida. It's a nose. It's a nose. We continue. What part of the body is it? What part of the body is it? It's a hand. So here, correct, it's a hand. We continue. What part of the body is it? What part of the body is it? It's a knee. It's a knee. Remember the pronunciation. Knee, right? We continue. What part of the body is it? What part of the body is it? The arrow is kind of confusing, right? La flechita es un poco confusa, yo se las voy a explicar, está señalando la espalda. <laughs> How do you say espalda in English? Yes, it's a back. So, here, back. 
It's a back. Una espalda. It's a back. Or it's the back. Yes, correct. We continue. What part of the body is it? What part of the body is it? Very good, Isidora. It's a head. It's a head. Head. It's una cabeza. It's head. We continue. What part of the body is it? What part of the body is it? Very good. It's an eye. It's an eye. Tenemos que decir un solo ojo porque tenemos el artículo an. An eye. Yes. It's an eye. We continue. What part of the body is it? What part of the body is it? Look at the words. Very good, Safka. So look at the options here and tell me what is the correct option. Yes. So it's a stomach. It's a stomach. Or here, stomach. Uh, stomach. We continue. What part of the body is it? What part of the body is it? Very good, Safka. Very good, Sebastian. Aida. It's an arm. Arm. It's an arm. We continue. What part of the body is it? What part of the body is it? Pay attention to the vocabulary. Yes, the options. Very good. It's a chest. It's a chest. It's a chest. We continue. What part of the body is it? What part of the body is it? It's a wrist. Very good. It's a wrist. Es una muñeca. How do you say muñeca de juguete? How do you say that? Doll. Very good. Muñeca de juguete. Doll. Doll is un juguete. Toy. Yes, juguete. Wrist ya hace referencia a la parte del cuerpo. Wrist. We continue. Well. Here we have this exercise. It is an online exercise. It's a listening exercise, okay? It's very easy. I'm going to share here the screen and um, the link. Les voy a compartir por acá el link en el chat, yes? And wait a second. I'm going to share also the... Here. Are you seeing the web page? Yes. Estamos viendo la página web. Okay, perfect. So look. Here we have some images, yes. And we have this audio here. Voy a poner este audio. Ustedes me dicen por favor si sí, si sí, se escucha. Yes. Throat. Throat. Yes. Okay, perfect. I'm going to yes yes okay thank you well les voy a mostrar las opciones que hay y después 
de, escuchamos los audios. Eye, hand, leg, arm, ear, finger, throat, head, back, foot, mouth, nose. Questions about the vocabulary? Is there a word that you don't know? Throat, how, what is the question? How do you say? How do you say throat in Spanish? Very good. Throat, garganta. Okay, garganta. Throat, garganta. Right. Neck es el cuello como tal, ¿sí? Recordemos, neck, cuello como tal. Throat ya se refiere a la garganta. All right. So, you already know the options. Eye, hand, leg, arm, ear, finger, throat. Head, back, foot, mouth, nose. Now I'm going to put the audios and with the images, it is very easy. So you are going to tell me what is the correct option. Okay, so number one. Hand. Hand. What is that? Please answer on the chat. Yes, very good. Hand. Mano, hand. We continue here. Nose. 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 Nariz. Very good. Here. Mouth. 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 La boca. Here. Head. 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 Head, very good. Aida, Marbelli, Sebastián, Daniela. Head. Here. Finger. 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 Yes. Finger. Very good. Bueno, ahorita les explico un poco la diferencia que hay entre el acento británico y el acento americano. Por eso se escucha un poco más extraño, no es que sea extraño sino que son eh, formas diferentes de pronunciar el inglés ¿sí? de acuerdo como a, al país o a las ciudades que, en las que estén las personas vamos a escuchar de nuevo esa palabra finger finger yes. ahorita que volvamos al pdf les explico un poco esta diferencia arm arm Arm. arm, arm, yes, arm, arm, el brazo, arm, ear, 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 yes, ear, throat, 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 yes, throat, Garganta, throat. I, I, I. The I, yes, I. Foot, foot, foot. Foot, very good, Marbelli, Sebastián, Mario, foot. And these ones. Leg, leg. 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 Very good. Leg. Pierna. Leg. Back. 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 Very good. Aileen. Jose. Mario. Yes. All right. Bueno, vamos a poner entonces los nombres. So, this is a hand over here. Ay, no se deja agarrar este nombrecito. Ay. We have here, this is the nose, this is the mouth, or here, this is the head. So, what is the head? Ay, I don't see the head. I know, I did something wrong here. Hand, head. 
what is this one this is a finger so finger or here this is the arm or here we continue with the ear so ear here ear throat throat and what is this the eye this is the eye then we continue with the foot foot leg leg over here and finally the back okay we are going to finish this all correct very good all correct well we are going to listen this mm, what is this here finger. finger finger so i'm going to write or here the word finger finger bueno qué pasa esta página se llama learn english eh, teens esto hace parte del british council el consejo británico el inglés de Europa, por decirlo así, tiene una pronunciación muy diferente al inglés americano, ¿sí? Por esto, ER, los británicos lo van a pronunciar como una A. Finger, finger. Los americanos, el inglés americano, American English, ellos lo van a pronunciar normal. Finger, finger, finger. Pero... Ya las personas de Inglaterra, eh, de Irlanda, este tipo de países, lo van a pronunciar finga, finga, ¿sí? Lo mismo pasaba con este, ¿dónde está? Arm, arm, que es brazo. Eh, American English, in American English, arm, arm. In British English... En el inglés británico ellos no pronuncian esta R, no, la pronun no es tan marcada, arm, arm. Yes, en Canadá también pasa lo mismo, en Australia también pasa lo mismo. No tienen un inglés eh, británico, sí, tienen un inglés británico. Esta es la diferencia en la pronunciación, sí, es la diferencia en la pronunciación que también hay que ser conscientes porque no... Todo el tiempo vamos a encontrar inglés americano, no todo el tiempo lo vamos a encontrar de esta manera. Right? Clear this difference? Clear esta pequeña diferencia por acá? Yes. Okay. So, we are going to continue. I'm going to erase this. Vamos a continuar entonces con el PDF. Or here. All right, so here we have this exercise. Now we have a, like a description. Yes, we have 10 questions, 10 questions. And we have the options here, the options. Face, tooth, elbow, finger, stomach, hand, ear, leg, eye, so, so, in these questions, we have the description, yes, the description. Tenemos la descripción de la parte del cuerpo como tal, la descripción. Lo que tenemos que hacer es leer muy bien la descripción. Si hay preguntas acerca del vocabulario, las hacemos utilizando ya la estructura que sabemos de cómo hacer preguntas. Y vamos a completar con la palabra que corresponde, con la parte del cuerpo que corresponde. Eh, soul. How do you say soul in Spanish? Eh, yes, in a minute. Bueno, soul hace referencia a la planta del pie. Yes, la planta del pie. Ya voy a poner un poquito más grande acá la imagen. Wait a second. Ahí está bien. Yes, it is good. Here. How do you say middle in Spanish? Middle en el medio. 
en el medio de. All right. So, we are going to begin. Vamos a empezar entonces. I'm going to raise this. Number one. The part at the end of your arm. Very good, Daniela. The part at the end of your arm. That is the hand. Hand. What is this? La parte al final de, al final de tu brazo. Al final de tu brazo, tu mano. Hand. Yes. Hand. All right. Questions? Hand. Number two. The part in the middle of your arm where it bends. What is this? In the middle of, en el medio de tu brazo. In the middle of your arm. Yes. Where it bends, esto significa donde se dobla. Bend, or bend, quiere decir doblar. So, very good. That is the, the elbow. Elbow. Yes. El codo. Vamos a ir tachando por acá las que ya hemos utilizado. We continue. Number three. One of the two parts. Una de las dos partes. One of the two parts. In your head. In your head. Tu cabeza. That you see with. That you see. See. Con las que ves. See. So, the answer, very good, Aileen, Sebastián, Gisette, Aida, I, the eye, el ojo, vamos a tachar por acá, ojo. Number three, sorry, number four, the front part of your head, the front part of your head, very good, Aida, Marbelli, Aileen, Jose, Isidora, Safka. So, the face. Yes, the face. La cara. The face. I'm going to make a line here. Number five. Number five. The bottom part of your foot. The bottom part of your foot. Well, here we have this word, bottom. Bottom. En este caso quiere decir la parte final de tu pie. La parte final de tu pie. Habíamos dicho eh, la planta, ¿sí? Soul. So, here we have soul. Soul. La planta. Soul. Number six. One of the five parts at the end of each hand. One of the five parts. Five parts. Hands. Acá les señalé las palabras claves. So, very good, Eileen, Aida, Marbelli, Isidora. That is finger. 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 Your finger. Number seven. One of the long parts of the body. I'm going to signal this. I wait, wait. One of the long parts of the body. Ay, me tocó correr el tablerito porque si no, no me dejan señalar por acá. One of the long parts of the body that is used for walking. Walking. Caminar o pararse. Standing. Pararse. One of the long parts of the body. Es una parte larga del cuerpo. One of the long parts of the body that is used for walking or standing. Very good, Isidora. I lean, Sebas. So that is the leg. Acá tenemos entonces la pierna. Leg. 
We are going to make a line here. So, una linecita acá. Y en finger. We continue. Number eight. One of the hard white things in your mouth that you use for eating. For eating. You know, eating. Look at this. Hard, duro, o duras. Una de las cosas duras y blancas, white, es el color blanco, white, white. In your mouth, en tu boca, in your mouth. Ah, very good, very good, Aida, Aileen. Una de las cosas blancas y duras en tu boca que tú usas para comer. That you use for eating, para comer, for eating. So here we have the tooth, el diente, the tooth. Right. I'm going to signal this. Number nine, the front part of your body, below your chest and above your legs. Look at this. Below your chest. Abajo de tu pecho y arriba de tus piernas. Below, above. Esto ya lo vimos. So that is the stomach. Very good. Stomach. Or here. And number 10. One of the parts of a person that are used for hearing hearing para escuchar hearing so the ear el oído o la oreja ear yes so it's stomach ear very good all right i'm going to repeat the sentences yes number one the part at the end of your arm, hand. Number two, the part in the middle of your arm where it bends, elbow. Number three, one of the two parts in your head that you see with eye. Number four, the front part of your head, face. Number five, the bottom part of your foot, sole. Number six, one of the five parts at the end of each hand, finger. Number seven, one of the long parts of the body that is used for walking or standing, leg. Number eight, one of the hard white things in your mouth that you use for eating, tooth. Number nine, the front part of your body below your chest and above your legs stomach and finally number 10 one of the two parts of a person that are used for hearing ear all right students questions or doubts about this topic questions or doubts about the part of the parts of the body no questions all right going to be here reading the comments so if you don't have questions we can finish the class now yes thank you very much okay ombligo remember navel navel right and uh, what is the other one wait cadera Hips, caderas, hips, hips, navel, ombligo, caderas, hips, right. What other question? Empeine, that is going to go right here. Bridge, bridge or in step. Se puede decir de estas dos formas, la parte superior del pie. Sí, esto se usa mucho cuando estamos hablando de fútbol. El empeine. Yes. 
Hecha la All right. Rufa. Yes. Eh, ¿Puede volver a pronunciar el punto 10? Yes, of course. Number 10. One of the two parts of a person that are used for hearing. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Um, nudillos, this is going to write here. Nuckle, nuckle, nuckle. Los nudillos como la parte de la articulación, yes. Cachetes, ya lo vimos, chicks. Cachetes, over here. Ya te lo copio. Cachete, cachete. X, cachetes. Right. No more questions? You are welcome. Okay, students, so thank you very much. I will see you tomorrow at 10 a.m. Eh, nos vemos el día de mañana a las 10 de la mañana. Yes, be punctual, please. Tomorrow we begin the class at 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. See you yes. tomorrow. You tomorrow, see teacher. See you, Mario. Take care. Thanks, teacher. You are welcome.